It's Friday, September 12, 2014. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. UTEP's role in educating thousands of Mexican students was the focus of several special presentations on campus this week. The first, a gift of friendship for the university in celebration of its centennial. The Mexican people presented the university with an original piece by renowned sculptor Sebastián. Proyectara una escultura verdaderamente contemporánea, pero que al mismo tiempo tuviera símbolos o alegorías a la comunicación. Dos mezclas de X, que son la X de Texas y la X de México. Entonces la esfera tiene esos significados y, eso, y ese contenido, la palabra de la comunicación, que es fundamental en las universidades, y las dos X de, la, de las dos regiones. Esfera Cuántica Tlatoli was specially designed to symbolize the existing bonds between the university and Mexico. The university has become the alma mater of thousands of Mexican citizens. Today it enrolls more Mexican students than any other university in the United States. After Sebastián and the ambassador of Mexico to the United States, Eduardo Medina Mora, presented the sculpture, the ambassador delivered UTEP's first centennial lecture of the fall semester. Medina Mora has built a distinguished career in both the public and private sectors. He has been ambassador of Mexico to the United Kingdom, held cabinet-level positions in the Mexican government, and was Mexico's attorney general, among other positions. The events wrapped up with a free concert by the Matias Carvajal Ensemble, presented by the Consulate General of Mexico. The Mexico City-based jazz group delighted the public with classical jazz fused with funk and Latin flavor. Carvajal is a self-taught multidisciplinary artist who excelled as a musician from an early age. He also is the son of Mexican master artist Sebastián. Make sure to take advantage of the last day of the I-10 Coalition Blood Drive today. Both UTEP and NMSU students are encouraged to engage in this friendly competition taking place ahead of this weekend's football game between the I-10 rivals. United Blood Services blood mobiles are located throughout campus, including near the Undergraduate Learning Center. The number of pints collected will be announced at the game that begins at 6 p.m. Saturday in Sunbowl Stadium. For more information about these and other stories, check out utefnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!